Good morning and welcome back to another video and today is a gold guide to Winter's Vale. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. So coming in at number one for Winter's Vale is Frost Oil. Now Frost Oil can be found in the Alterac Mountains from a vendor called Broke In. Now the recipe is a one time buy only and it only spawns every now and then you have the chance of obtaining this recipe from specifically that vendor and you can either sell that on the auction house for a decent amount of gold to say the least or you can actually learn this and create any of the winter type-esque things that are bought primarily at Winter's Vale which is the Edge of Winter which is an axe that you can get a hold of and it requires the frost oil to craft the other thing that you can also make is the Snowmaster 9000, which is a nice little doodad from engineering, which you can then make and sell on the auction house as well, and it doesn't like this nice little cool effect, so to speak. It's more of an aesthetic thing than anything. Other than that, Frost Oil sells quite at a high demand at this moment in time, mainly throughout the entire of Winter's Vale, and it is definitely something to look into if you have a bit of spare time and try and get hold of that recipe. Coming in at number two though is the Savage Gifts. Now the Savage Gifts are relatively simple to get a hold of. All you have to do is run over to your garrison and make sure that you have a rank three garrison. All you have to do is go over to Almi who will give you the quests and you turn in the quests to Izzy Holly Thistle. And basically she gives you a quest to do over near the Grumplings in Frostfire Ridge. All the quests are over near Frostfire Ridge. You go do them and you get some merry supplies. You have enough to buy one Savage Gift, which the Savage Gift also gives you the chance of getting a minion of Grumpus for around about 3% drop chance or a medallion of the legion for 14% drop chance. Now, since the removal of the elixir of rapid mind, which was at 14% drop chance, now it's zero because it's no longer in these gifts, the savage gifts aren't really farmed all that much as frequently as, as they did the last few years when the elixir of rapid mind were on because they were a primary target as well as the minion of Grumpus. But the minion of Grumpus only being at a 3% drop chance makes this uh, still a decent is still a decent farm to do every single day as dailies throughout the entire of Wintervale. Now you can get one savage gift per character per day, and the merry supplies are bind on account, so you can send them over to your character. Now that is when an alt army will come in. If you've got a character roughly around about 110 upwards you're not going to have a problem doing any of this and even at level 100 you're still not going to have a problem doing any of these quests because still a fair amount of people actually do do this now the savage gifts on average for me per years and i've actually kept a tally is i usually get around about four minions of grumpus Bearing in mind last year's was three, but the couple of years before then were four. So on average, I've managed to get a few minions of Grumpus every single year and sell them for at least around a, and sell them for at least around about a hundred thousand gold. So this is primarily a good way in order to get your token for the month if you really wanted to by just doing the daily quests on all of your alts and. Alongside that, it is a great way to making gold overall throughout Winter Vale. Now, aside from that, there are a few other things you can do to make gold in Winter's Vale, and that is the miniature Winter Vale tree. Now, this is a dagger that you get off of the stolen presents, and the way in which you get hold of the stolen presents is by going over to Iron Forge and picking up the Your and Mean one. Mr. Grinch, of course, but it's the quest is called You're a Mean One, and it's quest, and all you have to do is it will, send, it will send you all the way over towards Alterac Mountains, where in which you will take on the the Grinch, basically. It's just a big-ass yeti. You take him out, you get the stolen presents, 
you send it back to Ironforge, give it in, you get a stolen present. Now, the miniature Winterveld tree comes from within the stolen presents at a 1% drop chance. You do also get a load of additional things through this and nice little doodads for yourself as well. So you're not gonna come out a complete bust. You will get some aesthetic things and a couple of other things which will solely be on this list in a minute. But that being the case, let's move into number four. Now coming in at number four is mats. Now, specifically small legs and ice cold milk. Now, for small legs, it is relatively simple to get a hold of. You could either go to the farm in Westfall where you go kill the vultures, Bear in mind, once you've killed them for about 10 minutes, they take a regular respawn rate, so three minutes or so to respawn again, and then you can carry on that insane murdering farm of vultures, or you can take the another route, which is go all the way over to Silvermoon, outside the front of Silvermoon. This will be better if you're Horde, but if you're Alliance, you can still do it, just try not to pull the guards. But at the end of the day, all you have to do is just take out the dragonlings and just loot them and you get a hold of small legs. Now, small legs are required in a load of recipes over Winter's Vale and so is ice cold milk. Ice cold milk is also found from the innkeepers in any of your major cities and you can sell those on the auction house. Now, primarily I like to sell them in stacks of one and five because that is kind of the ones that sell the best, so to speak, because no one really wants to make any more than they really do. And it is a great way in order to get a nice jump on the beginning of Winter's Vale. So if you've got some time, do that and try and see if you can make a decent profit going forward. To move on to this is number six, which was the cooking recipes. Now the cooking recipes are can be located in your garrison or in the major cities. And all you have to do is basically go over to your vendor for the smoky wood pastures and just buy the gingerbread cookie recipe or the Wintervale eggnog. And along with that, you can also use your tailoring to buy all the recipes as well and the apple hot apple cider and the winter boots. Now these will be selling like hotcakes, so it's better to buy them and learn them. Aside from that, as well as crafting them and selling those on the auction house for a very big profit, they sell like insanely. So even if you are like on a high pop server, it's still worth crafting quite a few in, a, in order to get some regular sales going. But what I like to do is I like to buy a load of holiday spices and holiday spirits and sell those on the auction house as well due to the fact that some people don't actually know that you can actually get them from the vendor. So they look it up and then they buy them. So it's just a great way because it's like 10 copper for five holiday spices. Buy a load of them, sell them on the auction house. Um, another way in which you can actually make gold is by buying the gingerbread cookie and the Winterfell eggnog as well as none of the others because I'm being an idiot, which all you have to do is buy those recipes for the gingerbread cookie and the eggnog and sell those on the auction house as well. So what I will be doing is buying like a load of these and posting them on the auction house as we speak. So yeah, I'm just gonna post a load of those on the auction house and see how much gold I can actually get. Um, aside from that, it is not that hard in order to make gold with the recipes as long as you've got a decent sized cooking and I'm pretty certain if you've watched my channel before, you probably do have maxed out cooking. If not, it's not hard to do it because you need cooking level one and level 35 for the gingerbread cookie and the eggnog. So you can level up your cooking that way. And once you get to cooking level 300, you can then make the hop apple cider in which you can make gold. Other than that, you need level working 285 to make the winter boots. And for the red winter clothes, you need tailoring at 250. Aside from that, you this is relatively easy and cheap to craft and then put them on the auction house so you're not gonna lose 10 ton of gold when doing this. Coming in at number seven for our last and final one on our list is the Iron Armada Achievement. Now, this one can be done 
kind of over the year and then you can get the last one but we'll cover all of them now so the crash and thrusher toys are the ones that you need to get a hold of and in order to get this achievement all you have to do is get hold of the crash and thrusher flamer mortar roller killdozer and cannon now three of these can be farmed up into nan jungle which is located over here in Dranor and all you have to do is go over to this spot in the map and the spawn points I will post here. Basically all you have to do is kill them and they have a 10% drop chance in order to drop those Crush and Thrusher toys which you then can sell on the auction house for people trying to complete this achievement. Aside from that you do get one per day if you really wanted to and this is from this is from Izzy Holly Fizzle once again and instead of buying your savage gift you can then use your merry supplies to buy one crush and thrushing killdozer and at this moment in time the region market value average is around about 11,000 gold on my realm at this moment in time obviously it's going to be at like 42,000 gold people are just going to go stupid for the next couple of days so I would if you are going for this cheese just do the daily and get it with the hop with the merry supplies it's worth your it's worth just one day of one character's quests it's it very much is worth it aside from that you do get the last one and this is the only one besides the killdozer that you can get from another type of present and that is from the stolen present from the your a mean one quest line now as well as the miniature christmas tree dagger was a 1% drop chance this is the fl the crash and thrush and flamer and that is from the stolen presents so as well as the christmas tree you can have a chance of getting the flamer and that is a bop item if you want to get a hold of it and complete the achievement at a 0.8% drop chance now if you want to complete this achievement, you're going to need to have the flamer, so you're going to have to do that daily. But the dagger is BOE, so you might as well do that on all of your characters anyway in order to make some additional gold for doing the daily every single day and have a chance of completing your Iron Armada achievement. Aside from that, that's pretty much all I have to say for Winter Vale. Have a lovely rest of the day, guys, and I shall see you in the next video, which will be on Wednesday. Have an awesome day, guys, and I shall see you soon.